Hey guys, it's JC Chandler back again. I am coming to you with a hack. Um, I guess it's a hack. It's something that I did a little while ago that I wanted to um, reach out and I know there's um, quite a few of newbies on my channel here and I thank you so much for being here and I'm hoping that this serves you. Um, this piece of information I wish somebody had mentioned to me but um, you know you go through things and trial and error. Um, a lot of us we go out on um, vendor events and we try to present as best as possible. And um, one of the things that I've found over the years doing the jewelry displays and trying to take really good pictures outside is on a black bust. Um, and this is just a standard flat black velvet bust or necklace display. Um, it tends to pick up a lot of lint. Right, so one of the things, one of the tips that I want to give you is if you're going to use a black bust and you're going to be outside taking pictures, keep in mind it's going to pick up the lint in your pictures. No matter how beautiful it looks to you on your naked eye, when you're taking pictures, even in a photo box anywhere, if you're taking pictures on a black bust, the lint is going to show up. I'm sure you can see all this lint, and I kept it um, linty, um, specifically to show you guys, if you don't know, some of you may and some of you may not know how you can reduce the lint on your bust. You can remove it with tape, or you can remove it with a lint brush. Um, I have found, that a lint brush doesn't always get it all. And if you can see, it's leaving some more on there. And then here's the other side. So it doesn't really do the best job. Um, the best job will be some tape. For me, that's what I have found. And if you can see, that top part is pretty darn clean. Let me move this out of the way so you can see. I'm going to continue to do this. And some lint brushes are nothing but tape. All right, so I'm going to do this. This is um, masking tape. And sometimes it works better than the clear tape. But I've only done the top part, which you can see looks better than the lint brush. And now I'm going to use packing tape, just regular packing tape. Use whatever tape you have, but definitely whatever you do, before you go out there and display your jewelry at a vending event, please remove the lint from your, your bus. Okay? Look at that. Now that's a lot better. Let me see if I can remove some from the top. That was missed a lot better all right and sometimes you're going to need to get use more than one piece of tape because after a couple of times it will stop picking up so i still got that last little part so look at that that's better but also there's a couple of spots and indentions from when i was packing um, my jewelry. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and finish this lint removal on this bus and then I'm going to show you the other resolution I came up with and I don't know I doubt that I saw this anywhere but I saw this, I did this back in 2020 when I was um, trying to figure out a way to not see any of the white specks. So that looks way better than it did. At least I hope you can see the difference. I see the difference. So that's one tip, okay? If you're gonna use black busts, 
use tape or a lint brush to get rid of the lint, okay? My resolution, ultimately I decided I'm gonna take these black busts that I have and I'm gonna coat it with some gray felt. This I got the felt from, I don't know, I might've gotten it from Amazon. I learned a lot when I started making my own jewelry um, is, you know, just, I went to Amazon for everything, but you know, Dollar Store, Hobby Lobby, everybody's got felt. Now I did a bad job on the back, but I did resolve my problem. Now this one was pretty bad. Right? Like I'm missing some spots. And all I did was glue the felt onto the existing. It was um, the smaller bust, but you know, the smaller ones. You've seen them. I couldn't find the black one without the felt on it. Um, so this one wasn't so great. I never, I didn't take it out with me, but initially I had taped all this back here with some black electrical tape. And in the heat, just as a, another tip, if you're gonna use tape to, to adhere anything that you're gonna display your jewelry on and you're out in the sun, note that tape residue, that adhesive is going to melt, period. Bad, bad, bad idea. But that's what I did because that's all I had. So I decided cover it with gray felt because now you can't see the lint on here. It's the same color. And any piece of jewelry you put on there is going to pop. Let me see if I can find, I don't have any necklaces or anything like that here, but um, I, I'll show you when I get my setup together. But this one is done just a little bit better, nice and neat. You're gonna take your time. I'll show you how I did this. If I can find a black one that isn't already wrapped, um, I'll show you how I did it. It is really so easy and it solved the problem of lint for me okay so that's the next tip if you're not going to use black if you're going to use a bust use a lighter colored bust or if you want to save some money and not have to buy any more busts or necklace displays um cover it up with some felt a color that you like as a matter of fact go go with your color scheme I initially was going to co cover these with um, purple and my new color scheme will be um, incorporating purple so you never know. Maybe that's what I'll do. Use the purple felt and um, wrap these. I'm trying to figure out how I want to take care of the back. Now of course like I said in 2020 is when I did this so this is kind of janky but nobody's looking at the front, the back. They're looking at the jewelry that's on the front. So that's my tip for that. Now, um, I know that you guys have probably seen these um, jewelry um, bracelet displays. <clears throat> and I'm gonna show you guys something. Oh boy. This one, I'm dropping everything. This is, a bracelet display that sits up in tiers. Let me let me undo this one. One second. All right, so I got. I've had this one. You've seen this bracelet display before. You sit it up like this, put it together, and then you put these right here. So now you have three levels of bracelets that you can display, right? Well, this is not the best way. I don't like how they are displayed. One, because this right here just takes too much. It's, it's not a lot, but I have found that um, I don't want to have to put this together. 
every time. So what I am going to do is, here's a hack that I used to use, but I've I stopped using it, but I'm going to do it. I can take the paper towel holder from the Dollar Tree and put the bracelets on this, right? Now, I would stand it up straight and then all the bracelets would be coming down this way. That's another way of doing it. And then I can just place, I can place all my um, bracelets throughout the table instead of all the bracelets in one spot, then I'll have three different sets of bracelets on three different vertical. And I'm gonna re, I'm going to reposition my camera um, and show you guys on another video, but I wanted to give you another tip. If you want to spread out your display, instead of having all three rows of your bracelets in one spot, then you can um, just put it onto a paper towel and stand it up straight and all the bracelets on this one can go on one table and then another one can go on another table, depending on how you wanna do it. So that's another tip that I have for you guys. Um, right now, that's it. I don't want to make this too long, but I was in the process of redoing my um, displays and I have a gray set of these that are going to go with my gray necklace display. So I'll show you guys that in another video, but hopefully some of what I mentioned to you in this video is helpful. And if you think so, please go ahead and leave a comment below and let me know what you do to avoid um, lint in your pictures. Or if you'd like to see something else to help you with um, an ideal display on your um, tables in your tent. Again, I'm not an expert at everything. I'm just showing you what I have done and what has worked for me. And I'm hoping that sharing this will make life a little easier for you when you go and do your vending events. And if you have not joined as a subscriber here on this channel, I'd love to have you. And I want to thank all the subscribers who are here and consistently click play. Um, if you guys could please comment, share, and, and just let me know your thoughts. Every comment and every share and every watch helps this video go into rotation so that more people will see it. I'm almost at 1,500 um, subscribers. I would love to make that before the end of July. You guys have been amazing. Um, if you are not a part of the Facebook group, which is linked below, please go ahead and join us. Keep in mind, you have to answer the questions, otherwise I won't be able to accept your um, your join request. In the meantime, go create something amazing. I'll see you soon. Bye.